our ocean, a phenomenal body of water, is home to more than 70% of all wildlife on the planet, only a third of which has been discovered. This astonishing biome obtains organisms that we cannot even begin to comprehend, but we have become the ultimate cause of the deterioration of this environment due to the increased amount of pollutants we are emitting into the atmosphere that is being absorbed by the ocean as well as directly polluting our oceans, affecting all organisms from the giant blue whales to microscopic plankton. So plankton are small organisms that live in the ocean. They can be both plants and animals. And plankton, the word plankton comes from the Greek word planktos, which means wanderer. They will accumulate all the toxins from all the organisms that these bigger organisms eat. All these organisms and stuff eat red tide and this algae that grows in this warm water. And then the little tiny plankton eat it. And then the little anchovies eat it. And the lobsters eat it. And then the lobster meat becomes the poison. It has become more evident that the organisms in the ocean aren't the only ones being affected by pollutants in the water. As these pollutants move their way up the food chain, their toxicity amplifies. When the oceanic organism reaches us, the magnitude of the toxins have the possibility of becoming so great that they are lethal. And so they'll work their way up through the food chain. So things like mercury and um, cadmium and uh, some of those sorts of toxins can be quite prevalent in some of the top predators. Well, I can tell you before this season started, we had to test for domoic acid. The meat was poison and give people sick. And the Fish and Department of Fish and Wildlife made us test and they were gonna close this lobster season if they had elevated levels of this acid. There's paralytic shellfish poisoning, but ciguatera poisoning is pretty common on coral reefs. And um, you find it in the Caribbean in particular. And the, the toxin is produced by a phytoplankton, and that toxin will accumulate in fatty tissues. You get a pretty big dose when you eat the top predators like barracuda and things like that, that have eaten things that have eaten things that have eaten things that had these toxins, gets amplified through the planktonic food web. Despite us not knowing it, our consumer habits and industrial ways directly affect us as humans through the waste and toxins we are releasing into the oceans. Each organism a part of the marine ecosystem is absorbing these toxins and being affected. Consequently, these pollutants spread through an organic phenomena, thus in turn we are inadvertently poisoning ourselves. As powerful organisms of this planet, it should be our responsibility to preserve the extraordinary life that belongs to it. We must hold ourselves accountable for the waste we create, along with the destruction we are capable of. Be aware of the impacts you have on the earth in order to prevent future harm to yourself and your environment. It is of the utmost importance that we strive to preserve all life.